Hey, hello America, it's Easy M Stitch, and I'm just bringing you a quick little tutorial on how to make the magnet staff picker upper thingy. Um, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, I'm going to show you how I made mine. Uh, I do hope that all of you enjoyed your Memorial Day weekend and found time between drinking beer and barbecuing to honor those who have fallen, our men and women in uniform. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the things you will need for this project. What I'm doing, I went and bought one of these from the Home Depot for $11. It's a handle for something. I don't know what it is for, but it's gonna work. All right, now uh, it's got a nice, little base to mount to for my magnet which where I get the magnet from is that piece of junk magnet that I got from Amazon for real cheap I will be taking this apart because I hate magnet fishing how about that and uh, this is now going to become the picker upper thing on my walking stick Hmm. And other stuff I have to help along is this E6000. Don't remember what I got this for, but it says it's clear and transparent and it will permanently bond just about anything. That's what I'm looking for. So that's that. And uh, of course I have a tape measure. I don't know what I'll be using the tape measure for, but you always use it for something. So here's a tape measure. And uh, my power drill. And for, uh, here is a drill bit because I'm gonna be taking out the thingy that holds the magnet on the rope and replacing it with one of these. Now, uh, I know I have other tools here, but in case I forgot any tools, I have my Leatherman because I usually forget some tool along the way and this will replace it. So, there's that. Now, I already have run into a problem because the stupid thing, I remember when, uh, you know when you get these, you have to lock tight the screw in or you'll lose it when you're magnet fishing because it'll come loose and bam, you lose your magnet. So now I gotta figure out how to remove this. Folks, hey, we're back. And good news, uh, I managed to get the magnet off of the uh, little uh, thrower outer rubber thing. And so, all right, we're off to a good start. And uh, I hadn't checked it yet because I didn't have a magnet off, but look. This thing actually fits perfectly in there. So there you go. All we gotta do is drill out a hole and uh, stick it in the thingy. All right, so here we go. Let's shut this down, come right back. First, I disassembled my magnet that I will never be using for magnet fishing again. Secondly, I drilled a hole, being sure to mark with tape on the drill bit exactly how far I want to go. I just want to go a little bit less than the length of the bolt that's going to be sticking past the magnet into the handle. And uh, I guess I could explain that better. I'll show a picture, but you know, go figure it out, folks. It's not that hard. And uh, anyways, so after I drill that hole, I will go ahead and fill the hole in the top surrounding area with the uh, uh, glue stuff. Yes, the glue stuff, and put that together. Once I'm done with that, I will immediately put the replacement bolt through the magnet and start screwing it into the handle and screw that in there tight 
Now, I did test run that screw to make sure it was going to be tight enough that with the glue and everything, it's going to be, that stuff already going to fall off, okay? So, once you do all that, you can uh, screw it all in and wipe off the excess glue because it's going to squeeze out a little. And then you just let that sucker set up. You know, 24 hours or so, 48 hours. And just like that, folks, I have the hole drilled. So, now I will do a test run of putting the screw thingy into the hole to see how well it, uh, you know, goes in and stuff. So, here we go. Take this back out of the magnet and we'll give it a start into the uh, thing. And I'm sorry I'm calling everything thing and uh, whatever hoots about or whatever. I don't just don't know uh, what to call it. So alright. I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know if you can see this. But I am turning this in, getting it started, and uh, it is it's going along pretty good. It sits pretty tight. Anyway, um, yeah, that's good. That's going right in there. That is good. I will take this back out now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I probably should have used a uh, like an open and box and wrench or something. That's all the way downstairs in the garage, and I'm lazy, so. Now, I'm going to add the E6000 stuff. And Shut up, dog. I'm shooting a video. That dog always barks for no reason, so just ignore the dog. Alright, I'm just going to... Dab it right around here. The stuff. Yes. Does that explain it well? Alright. Cap back on the E6000. Alright. Back over there. Alright. And grab my magnet. And now we will start bolt screwing it back in again. See how that's going to work? That is going to be, whoa, what the hell? A little too much E6000. All right, wipe that off a little bit. This is turning out to be messy. All right. And like I said, we will, oh, shit, that made me strong. All right, I will screw this back in. Just like that. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out, don't worry. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right, here we go. Screw it around, turn it around. And, oh yeah, nice and, oh, Damn it, man, this thing is tight. Right. Oh, I think I got it on there. Oh. Jesus, strong magnet. <laughs> All right, so there it is. It is on there. I have a little bit too much of the glue, like I said. So, oh crap, glue stuck to the paper. No. All right, so I'm gonna wipe a little bit of that off. You know, so it looks professional. And yeah, that is awesome. So, 
Now here's the breakdown. Uh, this little handle thingy, handle thingy, $11, Lowe's. By the way, folks, I'm not being paid by Lowe's to say their name over and over. I just want you all to know where I got it. All right. And the shitty magnet I got from Amazon. And I think it, you probably find it listed under shitty magnet. All right. But it works perfect for this. So now, when I'm out there in the river doing whatever I do, and I'm walking with this, I can just go pink. Hey, what did I find? All right. So, uh. That's my tutorial on that. Anyway, yeah, put that all together. And you have your own magnet stick picker upper thing. This is easy. And I'll see you on the next video.